like to welcome all of you to UCC. It's very good that you have this at the university. They say that universities are great storehouses of knowledge. And the reason for that is the students know a little bit when they come in, they know nothing when they graduate. <laughs> Some knowledge gradually accumulates in the university. It is an interesting program. It's, it looks very good to me. And of course, we'll have a test at the end of it. Uh, well, maybe not. The 20 plus years I've been professor here, we've had a long tradition of supporting, training, collaborating with, working with teachers, especially teachers of physics, but not exclusively so. Anyone who has an interest in physics has been welcome. And by that I mean we've made visits to schools, we've hosted visits from schools, we've tried to help people develop projects for young scientists and so on, we've tried to work with gifted students. We'd like to make sure that that carries on. Now we used to do it sort of in the the dead of night or, or the weekend when we weren't using the teaching labs. Now we have the Eureka Centre. We have dedicated facilities for doing it. So we'd like to make sure that you avail of that. And if you have an interest in any form of support that we can give you, please come and let us know. Education is a team effort, as you know. And it, it really is very important that we work together, especially right now. As we know, these are tough times. And in tough times, things happen that don't always happen sort of at equilibrium. Um, generally speaking, when things get tough, you get a sense of solidarity, people work together, you know, think London and the Blitz. Um, regrettably, we seem to have taken the other road in this country. We set public against private and tenured against non-tenured and senior versus junior, ASGI versus the rest, you know, choose your fault line, they're all there. And, and really, if there's one thing I could say to you that maybe might happen and hopefully will happen, is that we try and achieve a sense of solidarity and working together rather than be broken up and all sort of fight over whatever scraps of resources might be on the table instead of work together to try and make things better. Um, we also, I think, have to see things from the government's point of view. They're trying their best. They're a little bit fragile. By that I don't mean they have a small minority, majority. They have a very large majority. But they don't seem to be able to find the right path and I think they're genuinely looking for it. So it's up to us to try and propose solutions rather than to confront or to be militant and to say no, but rather, you know, we can try and help bring things up, bring things forward, and generally try to mitigate some of the daft policies that seem to be coming out of government these days, trying to form clusters, trying to turn good IOTs into bad universities. There's any number of daft things going on. It's not that people are crazy, it's just that because the pressure and the, the sort of the pace and the, the sense of crisis is, is maybe unhinging some of the structures that we've come to rely on. But anyway, we're here to teach, we're here to work. It's not about our own terms and conditions of employment, it's often tempting to turn it into that, but really what we're about is our students. They only get one chance to be educated. We can hunker down and wait a couple of years, they don't have that luxury. They have to go through the system, they have to receive the training, the education, the mentoring, all the things we can give them, use of online resources, use of collaborations, industrial placements, whatever they need, it's our job to give it to them regardless of whether it's convenient to us or not. So I really hope that you get as much as you can from being here and we can explore ways to work together to make things better. Um, we have to work with what we have, and, but if we work together and, and try and keep a sense of mission, I think there's a good chance that we get a lot more things would be standing up and saying, hell no, we won't go. So having said that, with those little pearls of wisdom, I'd like to welcome you to UCC. I hope you have an excellent time and some very constructive deliberations. Thank you.